Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Convict Time as Punk Rock or Convict. You might as well roll the alt costume, even if I much prefer the jumpsuit. I'll take what I can get as long as I'm playing the Convict, that is. And at some point, we should also do uh, this, do the Curse Shrine. I think I think there is an unlock for that, even if it's just the golden uh, trophy in the NPC room, which I assume is what it is. One HP. One HP! That's all I get out of you? Well, that's a little disappointing. Please break the table, thank you. Oh, wait, chandeliers? Okay, the, sh <laughs> the chandelier knocked the bullet into me, and I don't even think the chandelier killed anything. What a what a garbage room that ended up being. But we gotta do the chandelier at some point. Now, I also have to remember what else we're doing on this run. We need to deposit three keys and 120 credits to the man who's holding us down and holding us back. That's fine. It'll take a little while to scrounge up the resources and we might not even be able to do it on the run, but we're gonna give it a, our, our best shot. We're not gonna spend any keys after we go to the oubliette. We're gonna rely entirely on the luck of the game giving us good drops. And if we can get the Tinkerer complete, I'll be so damn happy. Because if we get the Tinkerer complete, uh, that means we can unlock the robot by just doing the TV quest, which is annoying, but not really all that bad. Now, a key drop does mean we have technically, even right now, enough keys to do the key portion of Tinker, but now we just need the cash. I will buy a key on this floor just in case, though. 120, even if you buy one key, that's totally doable in a couple of floors, especially if we're going to the oubliette, which we kind of need to do which we need to do. Gazebo says, I'm back. Sorry I missed any responses because my internet sucks so bad I dropped out. Germany has such bad internet. Um, you clearly have never been to the wonderful world of America and our internet monopolies. You know what's funny? I have, um, so I have like business class internet. Sometimes the internet just goes down because our router reboots. You think that, aw, oh, I hate to miss out on the chest, but we need to kind of save the, oh, we have four keys, you know what? I'll open it. Black hole gun, that's pretty good. I don't know why, uh, and you would think that with, damn it. There's another water barrel somewhere. I keep trying to charge the gun and shoot it to save the barrel, but it's not working. Uh, you would think that with better quality, you know, internet plan, they wouldn't just randomly uh, disconnect the bloody thing, but I guess they sometimes do, just to reboot it and install an update or something. Gazebo says, I'm just stationed here in Germany. It's worse than ours. <laughs> American Wi-Fi is either the greatest or the most disappointing thing known to man. I mean, I'm not, I'm definitely not on Wi-Fi. Oh, 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 oh! Got him! Ladies and gentlemen! Can we get two? Can we get two? Can we get two? Oh, we can get two. Wait, where's the, where's the, where's the chandelier trigger? Oh, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, and there's a secret room. You love to see it, but we're gonna have to break chess, so we might as well break it. We need to break chess because we definitely need to, um, to save the keys for the Tinkerman. I opened up the red chest, but I wasn't punished. We got enough money out of that that we can probably make it still work. Oh, 
Although I will say, we don't really have that many good guns, but at least we, you know, we got the black hole gun. We can't use, you know what? We cannot use black hole gun on the next floor. We need enemies to drop money. So this will be a little weird. We'll try our best though. We'll try to make this work. Dude, we fight Bullet King so often. I love it because it's such an easy fight. This guy is like the the most common boss in the whole freaking game for me at this point. You know, this is a uh, probably a good way of getting good numbers for calculating the average spawn rate of bosses. You know, out of all of the Chamber 1 bosses, what have we fought the most so far? Probably this guy. Like 50%. We fought Trigger Twins once, Gatlingol twice or three times. Yeah, at least it's not the Trigger Twins. Mud, welcome. How you doing today? Ooh, Betrayer Shield. We can get the, the infinite ammo gun version of this. Mud was playing a little bit of Rocket League the other day. I don't think he was streaming it. I think he was just playing it for fun. My boy Lo Mud loves his video games. We can save our money. 100 credits and two floors is totally fine. I'm tempted, by the way, to sell the... We have to buy keys. You know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to sell Black Hole Gun. We need the money. I, you know what? I think I'm also going to sell the Molotov. This is how much I'm doubling down on making sure we get enough cash on this run in order to do what we need to do. You keep acting like that, it's gonna cost you. Jornker, welcome. Yes, we're gonna be trying to fix the elevator. Three keys, 120 credits, we can buy two keys, and then all we need is uh, roughly 100 coins to drop in two floors. It's expensive. Elevator Man shortcuts are the most expensive damn thing in this game, but I think we can make it work. Got him. And also, what we need is, uh, well, you know what? A vampire lady early would, would help out significantly. Um, if we could get, uh, uh, you know, a good paradox start with some item that could give you more keys over time, like the Master of Unlocking, that would be great. So, the, like, there are options for doing this. But once we, once we get to Chamber 3, Tinker Shortcuts, it's actually gonna go easier, because at that point you get an extra floor if you want. You can do, uh, the Abbey floor to get even more cash. So I got high hopes. I've got high hopes. So a part of me is thinking about that on this run. Like, is it possible we could do two Tinker shortcuts in a row? I don't remember what Tinker Man wants for his next, uh, for his next payout though. At some point he asks for a bunch of junk, but I don't remember how much junk that is. This is also very tempting. If we buy the drill, we don't have to buy any keys. You know what, this is gonna pay for itself. Cause it's 50 cre- uh, how much money? It's 60 credits for keys. We should not have opened up, or not have broken those chests. It's 60 credits for a bunch of keys. But it's 42 credits for the drill, which will open up every chest. So this is what we want. Now it means we won't be able to stockpile junk if we open up the chests, but this is still really good. I think you can only fix one per run, says Jornker. Can you only fix one per run? Also, it's the drill! Yo, watch watch for Bulletman. Bullet Capeman. No Bullet Cape, oh, no Bullet Cape Man. I thought that was a Bullet Cape Man. He just, he had a red gun or a red handle or more like a mahogany candle, handle, candle. I can't speak today. Rat note. Check it out. 
broccoli clone. Some chests are red, but more of them blue. No matter what's in them, I'll steal it from you. Thanks for the stuff. Another up as well. Was that up? I think it was up. Dude, oh Jesus. I'm kind of, uh, I shouldn't be taking damage because if Elevator Man needs armor, we really should stockpile what we can so we can pay him armor if he needs it, if he asks for it. Gazebo says, you keep saying that the drill room is good for Capeman, now we get to see. Indeed, we just need him to spawn and for me to stop taking damage and for me to not kill him. This run is also getting very lucky. By the way, I'm very dumb. <laughs> we actually do need the keys, even though we have the drill, because we need the keys. Hegemony credits. Uh, we're, we'll pay him off hegemony credits, that's no problem. We already have, um, we already have seven. We're gonna get more. So, drill, and we, we will have to buy a key still. I forgot about that. So I actually hope that we have enough cash on this run because I just spent 42 extra on the drill. But it means we can at least get items. That was a bad dodge roll there. There's gonna be another wave. Oh, there's not? Okay, heart synth, that's okay. Don't lose the armor. Why you flip your tables, use them as cover. I would have dodge rolled into that guy on turbo mode. No question about that one. We will need three armor, okay. Three armor by floor three is not a big problem. I just gotta stop getting hit and wasting my armor. We'll get one guaranteed if we go down to the oubliette though. Play well, get hearts. Now there's an item you could use. I mean, you know, I've been taking a lot more damage than I thought I would on these uh, non-turbo mode runs, but we just gotta play better. And if we find a, a, a vampire, vampire, vampire which is what I'm gonna call her from now on, I would love to be able to get even more cash. vampire ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dude, unfinished gun I haven't seen in bloody forever. Honestly, it's like a, a warm trip down memory lane. It looks like we're gonna get enough cash though. We're already already over 80, we only need 120. We do have to buy another key though, which is gonna be another 30. Hopefully we just find another key drop. We can always wait until the next floor as well. Uh, keys do not get more expensive between this floor and the next floor. This uses chamber two prices, so. We'll do it on the next floor and see what we get. I would have loved to have gotten the drill earlier though to save the two keys coming down to this floor, but you can't always get what you want. It's also gonna be one of these. Ah! Mr. Gunslingman. Mr. Gunslingman. Heart synth is something to sell to the cell creep. That's why I sold black hole gun, because I needed the ammo. If we get cell creepman, I will I will sell him some guns and, and items, including Probably heart synth. It's 
It's a bit slow, but it's either this or Betrayer Shield. Alright, I'll probably just use this gun. It's not great, but it's something at least. Chill out. Relax. You'll need four junk for floor four as well. Okay, so I, I mean, I don't think we're gonna get that one on this run, but we'll keep that in mind as well. Although if we, well, yeah, we're not gonna get that on this run because I'm just gonna be using the drill to open up everything. The lie synergy is gonna make this gun run go a lot quicker. I hope so. That's why I really wanna make sure we can keep that old crest intact. Get to the abbey, break Alburn's chest. We need it to unlock items anyways, I think, and then we'll have an infinite ammo great gun. Okay, we got an absurdly good payout from that. I don't know, maybe we can do five keys and, or sorry, four keys and 180 money. We're, we're making great progress. We're getting so many keys out of this. I don't think you spend money. I think your run is great. I think you get the old crest and you leave. I don't even think you gun munch. Even though we only have two brown level guns along with the betrayer, I don't think you need it. I think you just go. You say you're good. And you get the heck out of here. So let's go. Let's skedaddle skadoodle. Okay. Now just don't lose it immediately. And if you can, save the armor as well. You know what? I'm hating trap rooms recently. Imagine if the shopkeeper said, you don't need to buy anything, you're set. Why would the shopkeeper not want me to uh, invest money in his shop? Seems like that guy just doesn't know how to run his business. Please stop shooting me. That's not a cape bulletkin, that was a bandana. Oh, Jesus. Man, unfinished gun is like solid. It's solidly bad later on. At least early, like it's a gun. Fires relatively quickly. Great range on it too. Jekyll and he forgot it says boundless zero. Z boundless zero. Oh, uh, I need I need six more cents to get elevator man. We need to get 120. So I haven't forgotten it. There's no reason to jump down the elevator shaft right now. If that's what you're referring to me forgetting, I could forget a lot of things in Gungeon. That's not one of them. Get him! Get him! Good. We were talking about Gunsling King, you forgot to free him. Oh, I did forget him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who cares about Gunsling King? We'll get him next time. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta admit though, you're absolutely correct. No one liked him, he is kind of a garbage man. I just completely forgot about the Gunsling King. I looked at the map too and I didn't see anything on the map that I forgot. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the fact that, well you know what, I probably, it was probably just like, inattentive blindness. I was looking for other things, like I was looking for a chest or uh, a locked door. I didn't, I wasn't looking for the gold, lock pedestal icon of a NPC because I never have, I 
almost never deal with this, except for right now. On these runs where I'm unlocking stuff on a new save file for the first time in like a year. Or two. Or three. But I played Gungeon. I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. Oh my god. Okay. I had to sneeze, but then also I had a knock at my door. I had to deal with that real quick. Good opportunity to sneeze. I'm feeling much better now, though. Like, actually much better. I hate how that guy can jump over the pit. You think, well, I mean, I can leap over the pit, but if I land in the pit, I'm gonna fall in. That guy doesn't even fall in. Oh, we only have one gun, huh? Do you open the door and sneeze on them? You joke, but... I mean, if I have COVID, I'm gonna give it to everyone else too, right? Misery loves company, you know what they say. I honestly forgot how good Crutch was as Jornker. It's very good. Right, I hate doing this with the old crest intact. But this is an easy first wave. There's only one unit left. Okay, easy second wave. With ammo? Uh, I mean, I guess we'll, I guess we'll take it for the finish gun just so I have like a gun to use for a floor. This is not the, the familiar I wanted. I don't want to take damage if I can avoid it. Man, we have not found the drop off, huh? Yeah, Crutch is really good. It's not massive homing. It's enough though, it helps. I have to sneeze again. Excuse me! I have to sneeze again. Maybe I shouldn't have paused to sneeze. I have triggered them. They are coming fast and furious. The subtext for Crutch is true. You do need it. Yeah, I would say you needed it. It helps though. By the way, I did forget to go down to Matman, but... And by Matman, I mean Tinkerman. It's okay though, we will do it. I believe I won't fail. I believe I will deposit these monies. Cactus? Oh baby. Freaking best gun in the game right here. All right, let's go to the E room before I forget. Hey, you've got 120 and three, can I use these to trade? Here you go, thanks, I'll go buy the parts. That's most of the parts. I'm gonna have to order some special things. I need 10 credits. I need 10 credits. How many do we have right now? Nine, we'll get at least one from the boss. But I guess we won't be able to do the next floors, even if we have the cash for it and the keys. But we can get the cash and the keys completed. All right, Betrayer's Gun, let's do this. Hank Bab says, I had the synergy with the Cactus once that felt quite strong, I forgot what it is. There, well, there's two synergies with the Cactus Gun. One makes it fire five shots instead of one, and one gives it um, bouncy Cactus Fruit. Both of them are pretty good. This is a slow fight, but honestly, it's to be expected. Betrayer's gun does not have much ammo in it, and it's got a, not a long reload time, but longer than you would like, for sure. <laughs> 
Why do some people hate the cactus, says King Derps. Yeah, uh, Bound the Zero's right. It's mainly the noise. I like, I don't mind it though. I wouldn't say I like it, but I don't mind the... I find it to be enjoyable and amusing sometimes. We don't need to buy anything. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else we need. There's a there's a chance I can afford the next elevator, so I, I don't really wanna Oh, oh, right, we gotta do this. Literally almost forgot. Thanks, I'll go place the order. That's everything. Meet me in the breach when you're done here. Alright. So let's not spend the money. It's like 59 credits for the key. We'll have to spend that later anyways. Let's just not do it right now. Don't leave him like you left the Gunsling King. I'll try not to. Let's go to the next floor and give me a moment to pause and sneeze. I do apologize. I do apologize, but there's nothing I can do, dude. Other than not have allergies, which I don't know how to do. Sneeze Clancy. What kind of a sneeze emote could we add to the to the stream? Like a bulletkin in the middle of a sneeze, they they have their eyes closed, their mouth is like partially open and they're like, "Huh? Huh? Uh." And then they sneeze and they shoot off. <laughs> Is it their their bullet? Bullet. Bullet. Your shots hit the wall. You're dumb. There's no elevator here. There's no elevator here, but we got a lot to do before we can do the next elevator shortcut anyways. Because we currently only have two keys. We would need four, and then we would need also like 150 bucks. That's hard to get. Not impossible, just hard to get. Oh, you know what? Another reason why this is actually not a bad gun. It's got in innate piercing. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Might as well grab that. We do have the three armor we're gonna need though, so we can at the very least drop that off on chamber three. And then he's also gonna need hegemony credits. He's also gonna need something else. Actually, will he need anything else? This guy asked for blanks and then money. And then other money. Maybe we'll actually be totally okay. Oh, you know what you need? Oh my god, I just realized this now. The perfect run for doing the Taylor stuff would be payday items. Not only, I mean, we have the drill. That's not what I mean. You would have the drill for the keys, sure, but then you would have the loot bag to give you more money over a run so you could actually buy everything that you need and still give him the cash. So if we could get loot bag opening up a blue chest, that would be the best payday item to pick up here. Hundred eighty money. Okay, hundred eighty monies. That's a little harder to come across, but we'll try. Actually, we could pr we could probably get hundred eighty money by chamber three. That's not terrible. We're already you know part way through this floor, but there's a lot of jammed enemies that spawn in the abbey, and we can get extra cash out of them. Like this guy here is gonna drop hopefully ten cents when he dies. Fifteen. My dude's loaded.
I'm on fire. Is loot bag better than King Bomber? Well, my thinking is the loot bag would give you... The, the payday items, payday items seem to spawn in clumps. When you get one, it seems like you're more likely to get the other. So if you get the drill and the loot bag, you would get extra money and save keys. So that's why I'm thinking that would be the best. King Bomber still gives you a lot of cash and that's there's no reason not to love it. But I, I ultimately think it would be better with um, with payday items because you would just you would get two things, keys and cash. I would take either, of course. There's no no bad choice there pretty much. I should not have taken ammo for this weapon, by the way. Um, if we're going going to get lies, then we're just going to okay drill. We're going to loot. We're going to get an infinite ammo gun, anyways. Jordan Chris says can confirm picking up drill increases the chance of the other pay, other payday items. I mean, I've experienced that firsthand in the in the past all the bloody time. I should not have spent a blank there. That was very dumb. Actually, no, it's not dumb. We're keeping the crest. That's what we'll say. And by crest, I mean hopefully keep the uh, armor so that we can actually give it to this guy. To this guy. To this guy in the sky. That also gives you an armor. We'll pick it up, definitely. Where that shield popping up comes from, Abe Clancy. Shield popping up. It's this gun, when you reload it, you get a shield and it blocks enemy bullets temporarily until it breaks. Actually, a pretty good little shield. You can just stand inside of it and nothing can hurt you. At least until it cracks. And then you want to get the hell out of the way. The betrayer's shield! Yep. That's the name of the gun. Don't wear it out. Yoink. 3, 120. 121. Yeah, I think we're gonna get four. I think we're gonna get four and uh... Oh, right, he does ask for the master rounds, doesn't he? Yeah. We're gonna get four and uh, I think we're gonna get 180. All we need is one extra key to drop between now and then anyways. Out of ammo, that's perfect. I'm not sure if you need to talk to Elevator Man though, you might need to go to the back to the breach first. Here's the thing, if we have to go back to the breach first, oh no, I got a lot of money. And if we can only do one elevator shortcut per run, you know, that's fine. We'll just do them in the, in the future runs. Yeah, it only gets easier as time goes on, honestly. Still occasionally hitting that guy. So this should be second shortcut, which is actually the one that we need, because we need we need a blank so we can get infinite uh infinite ammo for this gun. So instead of spending money, I'm actually gonna use armor. Cause now we still have three. Uh, I talked to him to open it. We can still do it, you just have to break it before you open it. There's lies. And now we get this. Betrayer's lies. Lie, lie, lie. Now loot bag. Here's 
You're also, the game is making me eat my words a little bit here. I was the one who's saying that we would get a lot of Cape Bulletkins. We haven't gotten anything yet. It's okay, it'll happen, I swear. Now we got a good gun that we can actually use to fight bosses now. Perfectly accurate as well. And honestly, this is a very good gun to get for this guy. Yoink, I wanted that to break, that's why I did it like that. Oh, good spacing. Look at that. Look at that. I'd like to keep the armor intact. That'll break some of that. All we need is some of it. Put the shield in a bad spot. Hopefully he can uh, crack that open. No? Okay, we're gonna be shieldless. We're firing a lot of shots. <sighs> but we got him. This is useless. This isn't. I love cracking these chests open though. It was no effort. A gun. That's a good gun. That's a great boss killing gun. Oh wait, I have an infinite ammo high damage weapon already. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Infinite ammo high damage. Three, one, four, three. Let's do it. Let's go down to the next floor and see what awaits us. And let's see if we can actually do Elevator Man here. There's an indicator. Hello, good sir. It's gonna need some reinforcing. Can you bring me armor and the flawless? You can take the flawless. You can take the armor. 180 and four. Totally doable. And then we give him hegemony credits. We won't be able to, uh, we might be able to afford the hegemony credits. So we might be able to get two of these done in one run. If we get a lucky drop, we'll be very happy. One key is all we need. We, so we either need one key or like 75 credits. We're gonna be broke AF after this, but it's fine. Man, we are just wiping these rooms now. I can't buy any, ooh, no, I can't. 63 is way too expensive. We might do it at the end of the floor, but probably not, but we definitely cannot do it now. If we had stealing, absolutely, so we could get cursed to get jammed enemies to get more money. For right now, though, we just gotta keep going. Still waiting for a vampire, vampirula to be here. It's harder to pronounce than you think. Do enemies under the effect of that guy drop more money? Yeah, he dropped five cents. Buff this guy, please. Thank you. You unbuffed him. Freaking Buffomancer playing on the other side for once. All right. Proton backpack. Not the best. Not the best. Not the best. Vampirola. 
It's a uh, Vampire Dracula, Vampire Ah, ah, ah. We got a key drop. All we need is uh, 25 credits and we're in. Hacker Man, I'm in. I'm in. I hate that my, I, I should try to, I have these, I don't know why I, I only remember this now, after having this new keyboard, well it's old keyboard, but having this keyboard for a while. I have keycaps that might make the keyboards a little bit harder to hear. I should install them so that it's not as clickety clackety. I think between, because my weekend's coming up um, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna try to reduce some of the clickety clackettiness in the, in the keyboard and also maybe adjust my microphone settings a little bit. Make it all just a little bit, just little tweaks, make it a little bit better, hopefully. Money's tight, but I think we're gonna make it. 12 more. Out of you to assume we don't like the ASMR, the Abe SMR. It's not super noticeable. I'll make it noticeable, damn it. <laughs> you get no money from those. It's loot bag. There's enough time to definitely get the 12 cents. We're gonna make it. You get money from the boss fights too. These guys drop no cash? How weird is that? Another key! Two cents, two cents. One cent, ammo. 178. Two cents is all we need, and we've done it. We got it, yo. We're gonna get a. We're gonna get two shortcuts in one freaking run. I thought the loot bag gave you a clown familiar guy. So how it works is that there are three payday items. There's the drill, which allows you to fight for the chest as opposed to spend a key on it. There is the loot bag, which we have right now. What this does is it makes enemies drop more money, but if you ever get hit, you drop your money on the ground. So you gotta go pick it up if, before it disappears. It's, it's a little annoying sometimes. The third item is the payday mask. The payday mask makes it so that every payday item gives you a familiar. The mask gives you one, and then for each of the drill and the bag, you get another payday familiar, so you can have up to three. 15 credits. We only need two. We should get two after the boss fight, I hope. So we're gonna do two elevator shortcuts in one run. And I know we, we've gotten some good items, namely the payday stuff, but uh, there's no reason to blank. I have the blank item. Yes, I do. We've gotten two payday items off of one run, but there's no reason to think that we can't do this on another run even without the payday the payday cheats. We can just do a run in the future and then save five keys, save six keys, however many we're gonna need. Yo, the range on this is not infinite, which is what I thought it was. Now, we, we got a good gun for dealing with like the last boss and this boss, because we don't need ammo at, at all or anything. We're in a good position. We have excess blanks, yes we do, we have excess blanks, how about you? Uh. The rat trap door is invisible, makes total sense. We haven't actually fought the rat at all yet. So we don't know where the rat room is, or at least I remember where it was. I think it was like here, one of these five rooms, I think. I 
I see you have 15. Thanks. Meet me in the breach. That's everything. So we'll do... Uh, actually, you know what? If we only need one more junk, we can just junk a chest and then give him the junk. Oh, no, this is lies, actually. We'll need two more junk. Uh, I think we should ignore junk and do it in the future. That's what I think. We'll do junk on a future run. Because we've already done two elevator shortcuts. That's good enough. That's like, I don't want to, I don't want to throw the whole run away even though we have a very good gun. But we, we do need two, two chests to both pay out with junk and they could just explode anyways. So, let's us go. I tell you what though, we're gonna get, hold up. I think I'm wrong. I think you actually do buy the key. We need five keys. What's the chance? Oh, we can't buy the key. Okay, so we're just gonna leave. Because I was gonna say, what's the chance that we'll be able to buy keys on future floors to get enough with the loot bag in order to pay off the dude? But I think that's too much. I think that is too much money. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford it. It would be tempting to try to get all three done in one run though. I'm trying to see if they drop money. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go. Did we find the secret room? We have not. Okay, quick check. If we can find the secret room, maybe we can actually uh, make this work on this floor. I would love the spice, but I, I definitely could not afford it. We have excess blanks. I'm gonna put one here. I'm also gonna put one. I'm gonna put one uh, in this room down here. Actually, we can just check these walls. They're easy enough to check. Not there. What about this room? Stars would have to align for you to get three keys. Seems unlikely. Or three uh, junk or uh, tinkers done. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, but we already got two in one run. That's very good. Okay, I'm gonna um, come down here. All right, let's leave. It's, it is, I'm not gonna say trivial, it's a lot easier to do it on Chamber 4 and Chamber 5 because you have access to the guaranteed cell creep. So, even if nothing else, we should be okay on future runs. Oh man, excuse me, Jesus, the sneezing. Oh. Now watch as we get like three key drops, but we don't get the fourth key, or the, rather the fifth key that we need, but we get plenty of, uh, of cash. That'd be funny. Hunt complete. We got something to do back in the breach. Let's not forget. Hello? Hello? Ammo. Well, we don't really need ammo for any guns because we're just using this. There's silver bullets. We bought it on this, uh, or on the last Doug shop. Very, very good, very good. Very good, very good. My shield! No, oh, I used a blank. Yo, these skulls are very fast. Just checking. Gazebo says, oh man, I forgot I have a big ass bad of gummy bears. That sounds delicious, man. 
I know what I'm adding to my my Amazon wish list after this run. Okay, there's one key. There's two keys, so we would need two more keys to drop to even just get the key. We can get the cash by selling items. Can you bring me four junk? I need the flawless. You can take the flawless. We have a ton of HP. I don't know how. We keep giving ri getting rid of our flawlesses, but... I guess you count for two, and then we picked up one extra, so... That must be it. That must be it. I wonder if the skulls don't speed up in turbo mode. I wonder, I wonder that as well. But uh, I, th and I, I think that's might. I think they speed up, but not by as much as you speed up. Movement is way higher in turbo mode than bullet speed increase. So that's probably what it is. Yeah, you're not even gonna get one shot off. That's 20 cents! I got 20 cents from one dude. So the reason why I say that money's not a problem is that if we need the cash, what we could do is um, we could just grab that. sell items. While you're holding the loot bag, selling an item will give you more cash. So we can find sell creepman sell a bunch of the j junk that we have. This is gonna give us like 100 credits on its own, the damn armor synth or a HP synthesizer. And we can just get a whole bunch of cash that way. So money's not an issue. I would love to be able to complete one more level of, uh, of the quest. We got a lot to do, we got a lot to do. That's a shrine? It is a shrine of, it's a dice shrine? That's scary. Let's wait on this. Because if it takes our money, we'd rather take our money later. Gummy bears are not delicious to your teeth, though. And my teeth are already trashed. <laughs> What's a little, what's a little more sugar? Jornker says, for the forge, I have no idea this was, I had no idea this was the case, but you need six filled heart containers. I remember that one. He, he needs, he's so despondent. He needs to feel reinvigorated. He wants to bask in the joy that is your filled heart containers. It's very funny. That is literally why he wants your heart containers. So yeah, so on the forge, which is chamber five, all you have to do is get two flawlesses, three flawlesses over the whole run. Replace a flawless with any other HP upgrade. Three HP up is not that hard to find. So I'm not opening the chest yet in case we want to try to go for the junk. It all depends on how many keys we get from like the boss fight. So if there's no reason to need the keys, then I'll just open up the chests. That's why I'm waiting. And we do not need ammo on this run at all. Ton of HP. We've had a lot of HP on this. Run. All right, so we are done. Let's go fight the boss. It's gonna be Kill Pillars. Kill Pillars is the easy one to fight, and in fact, we don't even need to expend a blank to, uh, it's not Kill Pillars. It's a larger arena than I thought. Do you see this arena touching the left wall? Okay, well, I guess it's gonna be another High Priest run. Which is totally fine. Shotgun. Actually, uh, cactus, I think. Oh, we got cactus and trigger. Just chill, relax. He left. 
If he left, let's toss out a few scramble or eggs. The eggs will um, home in when he shows back up. Okay, he showed back up. We can just stand in the shield basically whenever, for as long as we want, which is cool. And he's dead. We got one key. <laughs> and there's one key in the shop, huh? Well, what the heck? Oh, it's Cell Creek, right. So we're actually, we are one key away from getting the elevator quest complete. That's so cool. But I don't think we can get one key anywhere. If we break a chest and it drops a key, we still need two more junk. I don't think lies counts, but maybe it does. So, I don't think we're gonna get it. We are one key away from getting three complete. Well, actually, we don't have the hegemony credits either. I'm trying to think, four keys. If we had five cents last floor, I would have bought the key, we would have had five keys, we would have the, the money completed. Although we would still need the junk. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna do chests, and we're gonna, we're gonna just do them. I'm disappointed that we're not getting as many uh, bulletkins as I would like. Caped Crusaders. Lies does not count. I am Flu, thank you very much for that piece of information. We'll take that into account in the future then. We won't, we won't ever junk Alburn's chest on the off chance that we can make it work. Now we should take this. Then, we're going to come, uh, we don't need to sell anything yet. Let's go talk to the Dice Shrine. Please take my sawed off shotgun. Robbed plus bolstered. He took my money, gave us HP. We have infinite money on this floor, so that's not a, a bad trade. I'm okay with that. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell this, and we're getting so much money. I'm gonna sell the heart synth, I think. I'm gonna sell fire immunity. That was worth like 80 credits. And now we have 206 bucks. That's enough for the next floor. Let's take the guan stone. And then, um, I think we're just gonna leave. 108 bucks, we'll probably have about 250 next floor. That's enough to buy an item. Yeah, yeah, this is good. And we don't have enough, enough junk, okay. We could have, in theory, done the junk part of the quest, but let's just do it on another run. I'm muted! I'm sorry. When the hell did I mute myself? I didn't even freaking press the button. Anyways. Let me reiterate a couple of things here. I'm gonna keep using this gun because I like this gun. 
It's a good gun. And I don't really have any other good guns that I want to use right now. What's giving us seven heart containers? What's giving us seven heart containers is flawless, flawless HP. And then the seventh heart container is because of the fact that we bolstered. The, the dice shrine that we just used gave us the seventh heart container. Sorry, three of these guys? That's a little much. Oh, his... Dude, his big bullet hit the shield and exploded. That's why I got hit. So we're down to one blank, unfortunately. All right. Could those bullets still hit me? Because they went through the shield. I should dodge those. What the heck are you doing, dude? Bronx Bomber, welcome. How'd you start a new save? Uh, well, you go to the game's options and you say new save start, and then it starts a new save. Freaking Phoenix is knocking the enemies around. My God! Yeah, it is just an option in the in the in-game options. What's weird about the option in the options menu too is that when you click the button to change save slots and then mouse away from the options menu, that's when it triggers. Very strange. Two ammo only when you don't need it. Yeah, the game has given us a lot of ammo on the run. And fortunately, we haven't needed it. Let's not talk in unfortunates, let's talk in fortunates. Bronx Bomber says, I still have not unlocked everything in this game yet. Hey, now's a good opportunity to do it, right? You can play along with me. How long does it take Abe to finish the game? How long does it take you? Can you beat me? Maybe. We'll see. Ticket, ticket. Damn bullet sharks. Damn bullet sharks. I will take plus one to bullets, which gives us a guanstone synergy. And um, does it also give us another synergy? I don't know. Maybe. Hello, my lady. You're here again, huh? She's following me around this whole damn run, but I haven't spent any money in her shop. We could get spice. We could get a little spicy with it. You know what? Why not? We're already basically at the end of the run anyways. A little bit of spice won't matter too much. If I could beat you, I would have everything unlocked already. Lol says gazebo. Well, here's the question then. Bronx Bomber says, I haven't unlocked everything in this game. Gazebo says, I haven't unlocked everything in this game. What do you guys need to unlock everything in Gungeon? What are you missing? Nice. Are you missing a couple of specific items? Some challenges being complete? Like, what is, uh, what is the missing factor of your runs? Jornker says the only gun I don't have unlocked is Rubenstein's monster. Oh, that's going to be impossible for us, isn't it? How the heck am I going to unlock that on this save file? I guess just very, very carefully. I blanked! What? I guess the shield didn't block the bullet and I just walked into it instead. So we have no blanks for the boss fight, unfortunately, but we still got the shield. Hey, a key. Boundless Zero says, didn't unlock Gunslinger. 
That's, um, right, beat the double lich. That's tough. Doable, but hard. I can see that. Nuke144, welcome. I haven't unlocked everything, Gunslinger. Some pass, some shop items not bought. I guess, yeah, there's a lot to buy. Protect me, shield. No bulletkins, no caped guys. I was really hoping we'd get a caped guy and I could prove to you that you can get caped guys here frequently. But no caped guys after a drill run, basically. Makes me sad. Makes me happy. All right, let's fight the boss. Fight the boss with the cactus gun. I don't wanna use freaking cactus gun. Bronx Bomber says there's many things that I still have yet to do. I'm just lazy though. Also fair. I mean, this is me talking. I can't, I can't uh, blame anybody for being a little bit lazy. Lazy's my middle name. Abe Lazy Clancy. Man, Betrayer's a good gun. I actually needed the space there a little bit, but we probably could have just killed the dragon. Nuke says, I was kind of happy of just getting a pass killed, making the bullet, etc. Unlocked an extra character, got the balloon arm thing. Then I was like, meh, I've seen this game. I guess the thing is, um, when was that? Because if that was when the game was released, there's been a lot of content since, since then, for sure. Dun, 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 dun. Ancient Heroes Bandana. Hey, that's good. Noob, welcome. I gave in and bought Gungeon during the Steam sale. It, it's so much fun. It is a fun game. Cobalt Hammer's also been unlocked. We're done with the floor. Nothing else to do. Let's go. No elevator shortcut. Yup. We do have 123 bucks. Is there anything that we want to buy? I'll buy the armor, I suppose. But that's it. We don't need the bullet either. Solrak Novak says, I'm 100 hours in and still finding new stuff constantly. There is so much to unlock. Bronx Bomber says, I hate that this game makes you play as every character to get the true ending. The, the gunslinger ending, you mean? I guess you have to beat the pass with four characters. I mean, that's, that's not a big ask. Changing characters is nice, just, uh, you know, keep it fresh. The game saying, hey, win a couple of runs with other characters. That's not that bad. And you don't even have to beat the pass with all characters. You don't have to do the bullets past. We have silver bullets. That's why the curse is a good thing. I'm dumb. Gazebo says, says you still have to do the other dragon. Well, there's uh, a couple of different dragons to do. There's D20 dragon, dragon's rage. There's the advanced dragon, which we, d we do that when we do the rat, because the rat will access, will provide access to that immediately without having to do the egg. We'll get it done. We will do it. 
We will do it. I was on the brink of hanging myself trying to get the pilot's pass as Bronx Bomber, just the starting character pass. Well, I, I think that the, um, I'm pretty sure that the Lich only gets unlocked after four passes, not the first four passes. I think you can skip the pilot if you want and just do the robot instead. Or if, if you dare think it's easier, the uh, the bullet pass. But I, I don't quite remember if that's completely true. I might just be making that up. It's happened before. I dare say I've been wrong in the past. Man, we are just steamrolling bullet hell with this freaking gun, man. Actually, we're the gunman. Oh, Jesus. Robot is a pain to unlock in itself. The robot's a pain to unlock if you constantly forget about the, um, the TV, but as long as you just throw it in every room, you'll never, it'll never land in a pit. Just remember to go back and pick it up. It's a pain, but it's just, it's a mental pain. Can you remember to do this every room for a run? Can you, do you have the, the... Well, just, do you have the ability to, to not F up <laughs> once? <laughs> over like a 45 minute gungeon run, you know? It is tough, it is tough to, to remember for sure. You have to unlock access to the TV first. That's true, you do have to do the, uh, the first Tinkerman, and the first Tinkerman is tough. You have to not pick up an item for a, well, you pick up items, but you basically don't have to open chests or can't open chests because you need the keys. You know, I miss having objectives in Gungeon. Like on this Gungeon run, we need to do this. We need to unlock the first Taylor shortcut. Sorry, Tinker. He's the, he's the Tinker, not the Taylor, right? We need to unlock the first Tinkerer shortcut. It'll happen one of these days. And if it doesn't mend, we'll make it happen. Yo, our shield lasts a long time when we've got this orbiting guanstone too. Got him! I've gotten all four parts and brought them to, to the blacksmith. Do I just need to buy the bullet now to fight the past later? Noob, every time you want to fight the past, talk to her, she'll give you a bullet. Cannot be easier. Talk to the blacksmith, she'll say, hey, here's a bullet. Now use it. Yoink. Man, this really is just like a cheat mode. Ah! This is like a cheat mode gun. I love it. Bronx Bomber said, this is why I can never truly start over in this game. Unlocking items is not fun. I don't know, I, I like having the, the, the goal, something to do, you know? You have to do this in your run. I hate losing the blank because I can't counteract this guy's uh, annoying attack, which is right here. Although I, th I feel like I'm starting to learn the timings of uh, this Lich as opposed to 
other liches. The, the turbo lich. The normal lich, I'm learning the, pa the timing of it. Within two or three attacks from the beginning of the, of the fight, he will do the spin to win. That seems to be the case. Anyways, good run. My voice feeling a little bit shot. Otherwise, I'm doing all right. I feel like, I, I, I sound like I'm gonna end it, but we actually have to go back to the breach, talk to some people. The hunting quests, we have to do Doug, the shop, see who else we've unlocked. Hurt me plenty, what? Hurt me plenty, welcome to the stream, how's it going? A bunch of stuff has been unlocked, there's our run, we got another rat note too. If, we, if you get one rat note per run, four more, and then we'll fight the rat. So, we were playing as B-side convicts. And Doug has roll bombs and stout bullets. I hate roll bombs. I really thought you had to buy stuff from that guy. Now that I think about it, we have no money. We can't afford a damn thing. Ah, but the tinker is open now. Oh yeah, while I was working on an elevator, I found something you might find useful, gun boots. Wonder what else is hidden in there. R2G2. Only two more elevators, but the next one is really messed up. Then, looks like you finished. Couldn't have done it better myself, mighty hunting friend. We get the elephant gun unlocked. Dude, elephant gun is very good. Destroy 40 ghosts, not that big of a problem. And uh, I will always unlock you. We have no NPCs for this room still, which is kind of absurd. <laughs> Why not actually unlock them from their cells, dummy? Okay, yeah, we'll do that next time. I will buy stout bullets. It's really fun with beam weapons. And uh, 300 hegemony credits for the remaining shop. That's gonna take flipping forever. But run done. <laughs>